Hi everybody, today we will learn to create how to create a stunning website in type dream. So let's just begin. Okay, so first of all, we have to search for the type dream on the Google. And now you can see here we have the type dream.com. So we have to click on the type dream. So we have to click on the type dream.com. So let me just zoom it in a bit. Okay, so now it looks better. Okay, so as you can see here in the type dream, we can actually create the website link in the bio forms, blogs and the digital products in type dream. Okay, so in order to create the website, we have to sign up first. So let's just click on the sign up. And from here, you can actually sign in with the Google or you can use your email here as well. So I will simply sign in with my Google account here. Okay, so confirm this. Alright, so now what I need to do. So how did you hear about us? It is actually the friend of the referral. Now sign up. Okay, so what do we want to create first? I actually want to create a website here. Beautiful pages with a type dream. So let's just click on this. Okay, what best describe me? So it is actually that I am a kind of creator. So I will simply click on the creator. But if you are into the small or mid size business or the service, you can click here. If you're solo opinion, you sell the courses, templates, coaching and the consultation services, you can click here. And for the startup and enterprises, click here. And for the freelancers, click here. But or if none of the description matches you, you can simply click on the other. So let's click on the creator right now. And I would actually click on the continue here. And as you can see here that the type team actually comes up with a lot of the different templates here. And we also have the different categories of the templates. So we can have the portfolio templates. We can have the directory templates. We can have the sales template. We have the landing page. We have the CMS and we have the shop. Okay, so right now I'll just simply go into the portfolio. And inside the portfolio, we also have the different style theme. So if you like to have a clean template, you can simply click here. And if you want to have the notion theme template, you can click here and for the dark theme and for the gradient, you can click here as well. Okay. So let's click on the clean template here. And from here, let's just choose any template. So I would actually like to create the website for the agency. So let's just click on the agency template here. And we can simply use this template. As you can see the template here, it looks perfect. So let's just use this template. And we have the home page, but if I want to add the other pages, we can simply add the other pages here. Okay. So as you can see here, we can choose the other pages as well. But right now I don't want to choose any other pages. So let's just build my website here. Okay. So as you can see here that we are inside the template. So we have this little guide here. So if you want to see the option, you would simply write the forward slash. Okay. And if you want to make the columns, you would simply drag to the right. All right. And in the last, okay, so that is it. So let's just click on the done. And as you can see here, we have our template ready here. Okay. So for example, I want to remove this element here. So I would just simply click on it here and you will be able to see the delete icon here. So you can simply delete this block from here. Okay. So in a similar way, I would actually like to delete this as well. So click on the delete. And this is how you can delete the block here. And if you want to add the new block, you can simply add the new block from here. And it will actually ask that what kind of the block I want to have, whether it is a simple text or the heading, or we have the collection, we have the section templates, container and etc. Okay. So this is how you can simply add a new block here. So I just want to go with the heading here. And this is how you can simply add the heading and you can write whatever you want here. All right. So I just remove this here. And if you want to copy the block or that copy that element, you can simply copy the element from here. And if you want to duplicate that, you can simply duplicate it from here. So let's click on the duplicate and you will be able to see the whole section here. Okay. So now if you want to add it to the text, you can simply double click on the text and you will be able to change the text uh, accordingly. Okay. Same goes for the buttons here. And we also have the project section and we have this benefit section and we have this hero section. Okay, so now what I want to do, I actually want to build the website, but from the scratch. So let's just go back and build our website from the scratch. So as we know the basics here, so let's just go back. 
Okay, so I just want to create a new website here. So first of all, I just want to click on the all workspaces and I want to add a new workspace here and I want to create a web page here. Okay, so I just want to click on the continue and I want to start from the scratch here. So let's click on the blank page. And I don't want to add any page here. So let's click on my website. Okay, so since I have created a new workspace, so I have to give it a name. So that will be MySpace and it would be MySpace. I think that would work fine. So let's click on the continue. Okay, so we had been through this guide. So let's just close this. And so I will delete all of these blocks here. So let's just remove this and this and this as well. Okay, so now we will build our website from the scratch. Okay, so I want to add the neighbor. So I will just simply click on the add neighbor here and it will actually create the neighbor for me. Okay, so we have this neighbor setting. So if you just want to change the title of the neighbor, you would simply click on that title. And from here, you can actually change the neighbor. So I would like to give it my space and you can add the link here and you can also have the options to open this in the new page and we also have the font family i think i'm okay with the font here and we have the text color and we have the remove logo but right now i just want to use this logo okay so in the logo you can actually use these emojis here if you want to and you can upload the image if you want to and you can add the link of the image as well and you can also use the icon here so i just want to upload my image here to the logo so let's click on the image and so i just simply go with my picture here and as you can see that I have my picture as the logo. Okay, so I can align these navbar options to the right and to the left as well. But I just want to put them into the center. Okay, so if I wanted to add a new option in the navbar, so I would just simply click on the add here and I can add the new option here. And as you can see that I can change the title, I can give the URL here and what type of the option we have is it a link, is it an option or is it a drop down button? Okay, so right now it is just a uh, projects. Okay and it looks fine okay so as you can see here in the style we can actually change the style of the border here so let's click on the second value and you will be able to see the difference in the border here and the last one as you can see the difference here so let's click on the blur here and i want to click on the middle value here okay that works fine and we also have the position and you can also remove the neighbor so we are okay with the neighbor here Okay, so let's just click on the sign up button here so you can change the title if you want to and you can change the background here. So I just want to change the background to the a kind of black color here. Okay, so that works fine for me. All right. Okay, so now I have to add the hero section here. So I'll just simply click on the forward slash and you will be able to see the different elements here that I can use on my website. So I just want to go with the section templates here. Okay, so let's select the template and I think I would love to go with this template or we can go with this template okay so that looks fine okay so we have this hero section and now i want to add the features section for my landing page so let's just click on the forward slash again or you can also add the new block by clicking on add new block here and from here let's go to the section template select the template and now what i need to do i want to have the feature so let's click on the features and you will be able to see the features here i think i would simply go with this template here so let's click on this template okay so as you can see here that we have this feature section here so you can actually add the image to your feature and you can have the title for the feature and you can have this little description about your feature and you can also add the new blog here if you want to add a new blog okay and in the similar way, we also have the second feature and the third feature. Okay, so one thing that if you want to change the positioning of these blocks, what you can do, you can simply click on that particular block and you can simply drag it to the top if you want to put it into the top. And you can also put it inside. Okay, so I want to put it inside here before the description and after the image. Okay, so if I want to position this along with the picture, so let's just click and hold that title. And as you can see that we have this blue highlight, so it would actually put the title along with the image. Okay, so let's just undo this because I want to use the title after the image. So that looks fine here. So you can actually replace the image from here and we can also add the alternate text for the image here. Okay, so after the feature section, I actually want to add the testimonial. So I'll just simply click on the forward slash and click on the section template and select the template. Okay, so from here we can simply add the testimonial here. So I just want to go with this testimonial from here. 
okay so that looks fine and in the similar way now i want to add the price section so let's click on the section template and click on the template and click on the pricing so now let's just click on this template and you will be able to see the pricing here okay so in the last i want to add the footer so let's click on the forward slash and click on the section template click on the template Okay, so now let's just click on the footer here. Okay, so we can actually go with this template here. That looks fine. Okay, so that looks great here. Okay, so as you can see all of these sections, so we have simply created a stunning website here. So let me just click on the preview section and we will be able to see how our website looks. Okay, so this is how our website is looking. It is looking pretty fine and you can also manipulate the templates here. And obviously we need to modify this to look better. Okay, so if you want to see this in the tablet mode, you can see this in the tablet mode here. And if you want to look it into the mobile version, you can simply look it at the mobile version as well. All right, so this is how our website is looking. So now we will simply go back. If you want to modify the section, so how can we do that? So let's just take the example of this text. So if I just want to change this text, I can simply change the text from here. Okay, so I can write whatever I want. And we also have these settings for our text. So right now it is in the heading format so we can change the text format into the bold into the underline italic and we also have these other options and if you want to align it into the center you can simply align it into the center okay so this is how we can change the alignment of our heading and if you want to change the font you can simply change it from here and if you want to change the color of the text you can do it from here you can add the link and we also have this highlight color that is default do you really want to make this visible into the mobile version or the desktop version and we also have the animations okay so you can export these options by yourself so same goes for this text here and if we look at the button here you will be able to see we have this button you can change the text format from here you can change the alignment from here you can change the button style from here okay so let's click on the glowing that looks fine and you can actually change the background color of the button here and we also have this uh, the font family the text color and the border color and etc so we also have the advanced setting for it and as you can see the advanced setting that is pretty similar just like the uh, heading and if you just click on the image here you can see the settings of the image we have the block type okay so we have the alignment we have the image source link seo and in advanced we have the mobile desktop and animation so let's go back so from here you can actually manipulate or change the properties of that particular text or the image okay so same goes for these other images or these other sections here all right so this is how you can modify the paragraph or the image if you want to modify it and if you want to add the new block you can do it from here and as you can see that in the block we have all of these options so if you want to add the heading you would simply click on the heading and we have the container the container is basically the empty container and if you want to put anything in it you can simply put it here so let's click on the container and you can see that we have created the container but i want to position this at the end here so let's just go here okay so i want to put this here okay so now you can see that we have this uh, container here so you can simply drop the item inside this container so let's click a new button here and drag this button inside the container okay so let's put the button inside the container and now you can see that we have used the button inside the container all right so this is how you can use the container so let's delete this and in the similar way you can also explore the other options that are available in the block elements okay so if you want to add the new page you can add it from here and if you want to add the new collection so the collection simply means the database so if you want to add the database you can simply add the database from here so now let's just publish our web page click on the publish okay so our website is published so i just want to have a look at our website so let's click on this and you will be able to see our website here so this is how our website is looking and it is looking fine okay so this is it for this video and in this video we actually used the type dream to create the stunning website that we have created here and if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel